Hey guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of matrices. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us if A is equals to half, the entries of the matrices are 1, root 3, minus root 3 and 1. Then the question asks us to figure out which one of the answer choices is correct. The first answer choice being a raised to 30 minus a raised to 25 equals to 2i. The second answer choice, it's telling us a raised to 30 plus a raised to 25 minus a is equals to i. The third answer choice, it's telling us a raised to 30 is equal to a raised to 25. And the fourth answer choice, if I see here, it's telling me that it is equal to a raised to 30 plus a raised to 25 plus a is equals to i. So let's figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for this question of the matrix that is given to us. Before starting off with the solution, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis. Let's see how to solve this question further. So if I try solving the question, it's given to me that the matrix is A, which is multiplied with all the elements with half. So if I multiply it with half, I get the elements becoming half root 3 over 2 minus root 3 over 2 and half. So I have this four elements of my matrix A. Now once I have my four elements, I can just write them in the terms of cos and sine if I want to write it. I can write that as cos half. It becomes when it is basically 60 degrees. So 60 degrees means I can write that as cos of pi over 3. Root 3 over 2, I can write that as sine of pi over 3. Here I can write again in terms of sine as sine of pi over 3 with a minus sign. And half I can again write as cos of pi over 3. So I have this four elements with me. These are my elements of matrix A. So A, if I see, and if I'm putting, let's say, substituting pi over 3 as my angle theta. So once I substitute it as my angle theta, your elements of the matrix A become cos theta, sine theta, minus sine theta, and cos theta. So these are my four elements of the matrix A. Now once I have my four elements of the matrix A, I can find the square of that matrix by multiplying this. So that gives me cos theta, sin theta, minus sin theta and cos. The second matrix, if I try to do it, it gives you same idea. So cos theta, sin theta, minus sin theta and cos theta. So if I multiply the two matrices, I have the idea here, it becomes cos into cos, which is cos square, and sine into sine, which is sine square, so minus sine square. Second, I get cos theta into sine theta plus sine theta into cos theta. So it becomes two times sine theta into cos theta. Second, next minus sine theta into cos theta, minus cos theta into sine theta. So that gives you minus minus, so minus two sine theta cos theta. And the last element, if I see, gives you minus sine theta into sine theta, which is minus sine square plus cos square. So we have these elements of a square. Now, once I have these elements of a square, let's see what I get. So I'll have four elements. And those four elements, if I see cos square theta minus sine square theta, that gives you cos of two theta. And 2 sin theta cos theta, we know it's expansion of sine of 2 theta. So we have these elements. If I plot it here, cos 2 theta, sin 2 theta, minus sin 2 theta, cos 2 theta. So we have these elements with us. Now if I see for a cube, let's find out that. Because I want to finally figure out a raised to 25s and a raised to 30. So let's figure out a raised to cube. So a cube, I can just write and multiply it with a square into a. So I can just multiply a square, that is cos 2 theta, sin 2 theta, 
minus sine to theta and cos theta. I'm multiplying that with my elements of A matrix, cos theta, sine theta, minus sine theta, cos theta. So I get these elements of my matrix A cube, cos theta into cos, cos two theta into cos theta, plus sine two theta, or I can write minus sine two theta into sine theta. The second, I get cos two theta into sine theta, plus sine two theta into cos theta. The third, I can figure out minus sine two theta into cos theta, And then I get minus cos two theta into sine theta. And the last, if I see minus sine two theta into sine theta, and plus cos two theta into cos. Theta. So I have my four elements of a cube. Now let's see if I get what here. So my elements would make it cos a cos b minus sine a sine b. So that is basically we know the expansion for cos of a plus b. So cos a plus b, we know cos a cos b minus sine a sine b. So when I have this, I can just write that as cos of 2 theta plus theta. So you get cos 3 theta. Now if I see, I have this element and this element same, only it is rearranged. So minus sine 2 theta into sine theta and plus cos 2 theta into cos theta that gives me cos of 2 theta plus theta. So we have this and the second if I figure out cos A into sin B plus sin A into cos B, that gives you sin of A plus B. So I know that sin of A plus B, it's sin A cos B plus cos A sin B. So here if I see I have sin and cos terms, and it is plus sign, so I can just apply sign of a plus b, which is sign of 2 theta plus theta. Here, if I see, I can take minus common for both of them and I again have sign and cos once at a while. So I can write that as minus of sign of the theta plus theta. So a cube I get here, it's becoming cos 3 theta, sine 3 theta, minus sine 3 theta, cos theta. So we have a cube also with us. Now let's figure out, I understand one pattern is being developed. Let's see that first. So I have a cos theta, sin theta, minus sin theta, and cos theta. When I had a square, this became cos 2 theta, sin 2 theta, minus sin 2 theta, cos theta. Right? So this was the idea. If I see for a cube, it just became instead of 2, 3 theta. So I understand that I have this pattern being developed. So a raised to 25, if I figure out, it's basically cos of 25 theta, sine of 25 theta, minus sine of 25 theta, cos of 25 theta. So I get this idea. And I know theta is basically pi over 3. And a raised to 30 also, if I figure out, it is cos of 30 theta, sine of 30 theta, minus sine of 30 theta, and we have cos of 30 theta. So we have a raised to 25, we have a raised to 30 as well with us. Now once I have both of them, let's figure out how to solve this further. Now we already know that theta that we have put here is pi over 3. So if I plug in these values and find a raised to 25 and a raised to 30, so let's see what I get. So a ratio 25, I get this as cos of 25 pi over 3. So I can write 25 pi as 24 pi plus pi over 3. Same ways, I can write that for everyone. So sine of 24 pi plus pi over 3. Then you have minus sine of 24 pi plus pi over 3 and cos of 24 pi plus pi over so I have these ideas with me. Now I just split this. I get cos of 8 pi plus pi over 3. Now when I have cos of 8 pi, if I show it to you here, it's 0, 2 pi, 4 pi, 6 pi, 8 pi. 
So 8 pi is nothing but same as the angle 0. So I can write this as 24 pi is nothing but your angle, which is 0 actually, because 24 pi divided by 3 is giving you 8 pi. So if I see, I will just have left here cos of pi over 3, sine of pi over 3, minus sine of pi over 3, and cos of pi over 3. And if you remember it from the starting that we have done, we have this same idea. So we are going to get the same values. That means we are going to basically get this matrix A. So A raised to 25, I can just write this as nothing but same as A. A raised to 30, if I want to figure out, let's do that. So A raised to 30 instead of theta, I'm putting 30 everywhere. So that gives you cos of 30 into theta, which is pi over 3. So 30 pi over 3, which is 10 pi. So cos of 10 pi, sine of 10 pi, minus sine of 10 pi, cos of 10 pi. And we know 10 pi is also multiple of 2 pi. So 10 pi is also going to become same as the angle 0. So if I put it here instead of 10 pi 0 everywhere, cos 0, sine 0, minus sine 0, cos 0. So you get here cos 0, 1, sine 0, 0, 0. So you get here 1, 0, 0, 1 which is nothing but your identity matrix I. So I have A raised to 30 as identity matrix I, A raised to 1 as A. So let's see. So if I put it here in the first answer choice, first of all, A raised to 30 and A raised to 25 are not equal because this is I, this is A. And I and A both do not have equal same number of terms. Same terms actually. So these are not equal. First option, it's I minus A. And I minus A is not equal to 2I. So that's sure not equal. This is also gone. If I talk about the other two left out options, B and D, so that gives you I plus A minus A. So A minus A is 0 and I plus 0 is I. So I get this is true. Let's check for the fourth because I know already that this is true. So this is going to be the answer. But let's check for option D. So this gives you I plus A plus A. So I plus A plus A, which is 2A equals I. So this is also not correct this is also cancelled so we have the answer for the question as option b so b becomes a correct answer here i hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions which deals with the ideas of operations on matrices i'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic and we are going to continue our series of questions on jwe so stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE so they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are doing on everyday basis. Thank you.